All right, so today's an interesting one. We're actually taking a detour from my semi-ongoing series of Avatar The Last Airbender reviews to talk about something that, I mean, I knew it existed, technically speaking, but I didn't know that it existed in a form where I could actually view it until one of you guys mentioned that you'd like to see me review it. And that's the Avatar The Last Airbender unaired pilot, which is very, very trippy. Like, I didn't dislike it, per se, but I had trouble watching it. Uh, for, for reasons I'll try to explain as the review goes on. This is going to be a relatively short one, because there's not a ton to talk about here, frankly. Like, story-wise, this thing was an early episode of Avatar. Aang and Katara called Kaya here. I guess that was the original name of the character. I didn't even know that. Uh, are talking about bending as they're traveling around areas around the South Pole. And Sokka, meanwhile, is concerned with their well-being while Zuko tracks them. They are confronted by a Avatar world creature. It looked like the serpent that eventually gets reused for Serpent's Pass, which was pretty neat. And there is a fight with Zuko in the episode. He does catch up with them. And there's examples of humor. There's bending philosophy. Uh, some of the characters' interpersonal dynamics are worked into this. But everything feels just a little off. Especially the animation. And I'm not going to like rag on the animation because this was done on a reportedly very low budget with the help of a Korean animation studio. So the animation quality was never going to be great on this thing. Though I will say, with just a little bit of polish, not as much polish as the show got overall, I mean just a little bit of polish in terms of the animation and the humor and the character dynamics, I could have seen this show working. Like, I could see a version of this show that's closer to the pilot than it is to the final product actually working and being relatively successful. It wouldn't be nearly as successful as Avatar, The Last Airbender, and Korra, and all the adjoining comics and books and stuff ended up being, but I think it still would have been relatively popular with kids. But it definitely would have needed a little bit of polish. Like I mentioned, I think I mentioned, in my very first Avatar review, it's been a while at this point since I put that up, some of the humor in Avatar falls flat for me, like hard in some areas. The humor in this pilot tended to be universally that, unfortunately. Like, especially stuff with Zuko fell flat for me in this in this pilot, humor-wise. So I definitely feel like that would have needed to be reworked quite a bit. Though, to be fair, of everything, the humor tone of this probably felt closest to what we got in the final series. So it didn't even really get reworked all that much, I guess. Uh, Sokka was less sarcastic here and more just like, straight line and serious, and Kaya, uh, which I find it interesting, they eventually do reuse the name for uh, Katara's daughter and I think her mom, too, uh, but Kaya seems way more into Aang, like, openly into Aang, than Katara ever was early on, and Aang seems like way more of a shit than he ever was early on. Like, it's hard to get a read for them because most of the dialogue in this is exposition advertising the show because this was an animated pitch for the show. But still, it, it felt enough like Avatar that I could see what was taken as the foundation for the final show and how this could have evolved into the final show from what it is here. And with all the little minor criticisms I have of this, like, for example, when they were waterbending, early on in the pilot, the water bending looked really bad. <laughs> it looked just, just really, really bad. Like the rest of the bending seemed pretty okay, but the water bending looked pretty ugly. But with all the various minor complaints that I have about this, minor criticisms that I have of this, as much as it is very, very clear to me that this needed to grow and evolve in order to become the phenomenon that it eventually became, I will say, the action in this is on point. It's still animated on a relatively low budget, but it's action, so they put more of the budget into it than anything else. Obviously, that's how 
action show animation works. But just in terms of things like choreography and blocking, the action in this was really solid. I wouldn't put it up there with some of the best fights ever in the show or anything, but I actually think it was, again, in terms of like choreography and blocking and stuff, better than some of the other early fights that we got in the actual show. And all of the mythology was already here, and you could argue that's because the creators of Avatar borrowed a lot of their mythology from other sources, from like real world, world sources and other fantasy sources. They just put it together in an interesting way. So that doesn't really surprise me, but it's nice to see that it was here as part of the pitch. That they didn't just try to rely on their humor and action to sell the show, but their lore as well. In fact, the intro to this is very reminiscent to the intro of the very first episode of the actual final show, and I appreciated that a lot. Overall, I had... I won't say a fun time, because again, I was a little put off by how similar this was to the final show, while being just that 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 slightly different. But I had an interesting time watching this pilot. I don't regret watching it, and I definitely recommend that other fans of Avatar go and give it a watch. It is available on the Avatar The Last Airbender YouTube channel. You can purchase it on iTunes. It's available as a special feature with commentary on some versions of the show on DVD. One of those options is free, though, so that's the one I'd recommend. Hint, hint, the YouTube one. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description if I don't remind me and I'll find it for you. But if this piece of Avatar history is something that you as a fan haven't experienced, I definitely recommend going and experiencing it just if nothing else than for posterity's sake. That said, what do you guys think of this unaired pilot? If you have seen it, let's get a discussion going in the comment section down below or over on my Discord. Link in the description. But either way, this has been AJ22 and I will talk to you guys later.